It's considered to be the best display of shooting stars of the year, and it begins tonight. The Geminid meteor shower will be most visible from the northern hemisphere, which is good news for us. Joining us from Montreal with more on the celestial display is astronomer Andrew Fizekas. Thanks very much for being with us. Hi, Marcia. So exactly what is going to be happening up there in the sky? What is a meteor shower? Well, it's nature's best fireworks show. And if you've got clear skies tonight, you're really in for a treat because uh, what you're gonna be in store for is a, a, a flurry of shooting stars, otherwise known as meteors. Uh, and what we're talking about is basically sand grain sized particles uh, that smash into the upper atmosphere at ridiculously high speeds. We're talking over 150,000 kilometers per hour. And that's what causes these shooting stars. Except now, tonight, into the overnight hours, you'll see uh, from a dark site up to 120 meteors per hour. And from a, if you're stuck in the city, you'll see a more modest 40 to 50 meteors per hour. Still a great show. Wow. So how are you able to predict that this is going to happen? Well, you know, the Earth basically slams into a, a cloud of debris. Uh, you, and and, and th we know where this cloud is. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically uh, in, in its own track around the, uh, the, er uh, the, uh, the sun, just like the Earth is in its own track. And every mid-December, the two orbits intersect. And so we hit, Earth basically slams into this cloud of debris. And the Geminids are the most reliable, uh, one of the best uh, meteor showers of the entire year. Most people don't hear about it because it's in mid-December and a lot of people don't think about going outside in the middle of the night to look at uh, up in the sky, but it really is a beautiful show. Now, don't laugh at this next question, but is there any chance that <laughs> any of these meteors will, hit, meteors will hit the ground? Has that ever happened? It does. You know, what's interesting is, um, is that there are, uh, the Geminids are known to produce fireballs. And these are really brilliantly bright, bright uh, uh, meteors uh, that linger for a few uh, seconds. And they're caused by things like uh, baseball to basketball sized stones. And uh, that produces quite a light show. And sometimes they make it to the ground and we get to pick up meteorites. And that does happen. It's rare, but it can happen during a meteor shower. It can happen. I'm glad I asked. So talk to us before you go then about how to best make the most or how to how to make the moment of this or how to make the best of this moment excuse me I'm getting excited about this is there a certain place <laughs> to stand can you watch it with a naked eye what should you do to get the best show yeah, well, this is an easy, uh, beautifully easy event to see. Uh, you don't need telescopes or binoculars. Leave them at home. Uh, you uh, Try to get away from the city if you can. A dark sight is the best. Uh, look towards the e eastern northeast sky. That's where the Geminids seem to radiate out from. The meteors, are, the shower is named after the Gemini constellation, where they appear to come from. And that's in the northeast sky from 10 p.m. tonight all the way into the pre-dawn hours, local time. The best part of the show will be after midnight local time when this when the moon will have set below the horizon leaving a dark site so and if you get clouded out tonight no worries you'll still see some geminids the rest of the week smaller rates maybe 20 to 30 per hour the remainder of the week Andrew Fazekas interesting stuff thank you so much for being with us clear skies <laughs> we'll hope so fingers crossed